Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Some 10 day trends are easier than others and uh, admittedly this isn't one of the easier ones. As is often the case actually at this time of year, late spring and summer can be quite messy with getting the detail right, even if we have a good idea of what the trend will be over the next 10 days. Certainly we have a good idea of what the trend will be over the next few days. Now across England and Wales we've seen some much needed rain during Wednesday, but later Wednesday the weather fronts that brought that rain out of the way. And then the trend is for high pressure to build from the south. Staying changeable, staying breezy with cloud, rain, showers for northern areas, especially northern and western Scotland over the next few days. But by Saturday, high pressure to the south develops widely across the UK. So showers easing in the north, sunny spells breaking out, and as a result, temperatures rising widely above average by Saturday. We're looking at high teens typically, perhaps low 20s, possibly even 24 or 25 Celsius towards the southeast. Still quite breezy and cool in the far north or west, but showers tending to ease through the day. And so for the vast majority, Saturday is a fine day, plenty of sunny spells around and feeling warm with light winds and above average temperatures. Similar conditions on Sunday, similar kinds of temperatures for many, perhaps a bit warmer in places, perhaps a bit cooler on the east coast with a breeze from the North Sea. But by this stage, there is un increased uncertainty about the exact temperatures on the thermometer on Sunday afternoon. And that's quite clear when you take a look at uh, this meteogram for Cardiff, for example. Could have chosen anywhere in the UK, but Cardiff showed this quite nicely. And what it shows is the forecast date on the bottom there going out to the next two weeks, the temperature on the left here. And uh, the red line in the middle shows the average temperature for the time of year. The boxes show the most likely temperature each day. And what we do is we run the computer model lots of times, not just once. And uh, the results of those computer model runs are plotted and uh, the range of likely temperatures is shown by these boxes. Now, where all the computer models say the same thing, the boxes are small. Where they say different things, well, it ends up showing these larger boxes. And what's quite clear is that over the next few days, we've got this warming trend above average temperatures by Saturday and Sunday and throughout much of next week, those boxes stay above the red line. But at the same time, Sunday's box is much bigger than Saturdays and that shows a 10 degree range of likely temperatures by Sunday and a similar range throughout much of next week even if they are all still above average. So it's the degree to which those temperatures are above average for Cardiff but also for much of the UK. That's the main uncertainty through next week and another area of uncertainty is rainfall. Similarly, uh, these boxes show the range of likely amounts of rainfall. And uh, you can see no rainfall really for Thursday, Friday for Cardiff and a hint there of some rain on Saturday. But that's really towards the end of the day that's hinting at and uh, a much greater signal for some rain on Sunday with a spike there showing that one or two computer models are indicating a lot of rain. Now, what this suggests is that through the weekend and into next week, there's an increased chance of showers or thunderstorms developing from the south. And uh, that's quite clear when you look at the bigger picture. Now, the bigger picture is quite clear through the weekend and into next week. We've got high pressure to the northeast, we've got low pressure to the west, and the air is coming up from the south or southwest. Now, whether the air comes from the south or the southwest, it's above average as far as temperatures are concerned. But as well as that, we've got this plume of very warm or hot air not far away on the near continent, and that's likely to be hanging around throughout next week as well. And on the northern boundary of that, as that makes an appearance through Sunday, we're likely to see showers or thunderstorms develop. Now this is several days away, so pinpointing exactly where these showers and thunderstorms will occur through Saturday night and into Sunday and beyond. Well, that's outside the realm of what's possible at the moment in terms of computer modeling. But suffice to say, where we've got this plume of very warm or hot air, there's that added risk of showers or thunderstorms. And of course, where those showers or thunderstorms occur, they will impact the temperatures. So basically, through Saturday night and Sunday, as temperatures rise, as that fine weather arrives, also we could see some showers or thunderstorms drifting north from the continent, most likely affecting southern parts of the UK, on Saturday night and Sunday, but uh, perhaps more widely later. At the same time, 
if we get some sunshine and this plume occurring, temperatures will be rising early part of next week. It's possible to see low to mid 20s fairly widely and high 20s around the southeast if we get sunshine associated with this plume. But as I mentioned, it does bring the threat of thundery outbreaks at the same time. Now, not far away, low pressure to the west will bring southwesterlies and showers or more general rain. And it's always possible through next week that a very subtle realignment of the pattern, really subtle, but making a big difference, will bring those showers and outbreaks of rain more widely into northern and western parts of the country, in particular drier further southeast. But this plume of very warm or hot air is then shunted aside into the near continent. So this still brings with it above average temperatures, but it turns things more unsettled. And it's always possible that we'll switch back to this sort of thing with the plume re-emerging from the south at times next week as well. So what does that mean? In general, through next week, above average temperatures. Mid to high 20s is possible at times, not for a prolonged amount of time, perhaps for a day or two at times through next week, mainly towards the southeast. But with those high temperatures, we could also see some thunderstorms or showers breaking out and there's always the chance that low pressure to the west will bring out breaks of rain or showers to northern western parts of the country at times as well. So it's not going to be cold next week. It will be warm at times, perhaps very warm if we get some sunshine towards the southeast. But at the same time, there will be some outbreaks of rain. Very difficult to pinpoint exactly where. Some places need the rain, of course, but a flash flooding could occur from intense thunderstorms. So that's always a, a risk factor with this kind of situation. And uh, we'll be able to put much greater detail on all those aspects of the forecast in the coming days. And we'll keep you updated right here at the Met Office. Bye-bye.